Hey guys, Antrodom here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showcasing a survival map made by Seth Blaine called Pile of Bodies. And essentially, what the survival map is all about is, as you can see here, there are a whole bunch of different YouTubers, Mojangstas, and different statues that are laid out all across the map here. And uh, the objective of the survival map is to collect the supplies that you need to collect in order to survive uh, from the various statues themselves. And you can do things like going to the nether and going to the end as well. And uh, a unique thing about some of these statues is that inside of the heads of some of these statues consist of some really like unique things uh, that may have to do with the YouTuber themselves or the Mojangsta themselves so that's something that's kind of neat but before I go really showcasing uh, the different things that are inside of the heads and the different statues themselves I do want to give a forewarning that I don't know who all of these are so I don't want to see comments like how do you not know who this person is or something like that because I unfortunately don't have the time to know who absolutely every one of these are but I do know who quite a few of them are so anyways let's just go ahead and let's launch right into it here uh but forewarning these are going to be spoilers for the map themselves for the map itself so if you guys want to actually try uh doing this survival style then i would highly recommend not paying attention to what i'm going to be showing you here but uh, anyways if i go ahead and i go into seth Fling's head here uh right inside here if you guys have ever seen bite size minecraft one uh if i go ahead and i hit the switch here it is the useless lever switch from bite size minecraft and this whole thing fits inside the six by six area inside the head so yeah and if i go ahead and i hit it too fast too just like that or if i yeah there we go i broke it okay let's go ahead and let's do that again Okay, let's do that one more time. I, I want to really break it this time. So if I go boink, 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 boink. There we go. I broke it. I broke it big time. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and let's move on here. So let's see what's inside Notch's head. Notch, what have you got hiding inside your teeth here? Oh, it looks like a little paradise or something where you can get uh, leaves from a tree. You can get the... Uh, where you can get sugar cane, where you can get water sources, so that's pretty awesome. So let's just go ahead and let's keep looking around here. Uh, like I said before, I may not wind up getting to all of the heads, but I am going to try and get to as many of these as I can. Paul Source Jr., what is inside of your head? Looks like, uh, looks like a little miniature house, a little dirt house, a little starter house, possibly inspired from his, either his earlier tutorial videos or Man vs. Minecraft. And it's got some chickens inside. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's head out of here. Uh, let's see here. Honeydew, what's inside of your head? Honeydew, what have you got? What have you got inside of your face here? Um, let's see. It looks like we got uh, some cakes, a command block. Well, that pretty much breaks the entire map because you could just type in your name there and I could just give myself I give myself all that TNT. There we go. Yeah. So, the command set. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. No, I'm actually not going to blow up Honeydew's head. But uh, anyways, moving on here. Let's go ahead and let's see Let's see if there's another head around here. I see Jordan's over there, but I also saw uh, Tobuscus's head over here. So, Tobuscus, what is inside of your head? Just just the diamond sword. I want. It doesn't look like it has an enchantment or anything, so I'm not going to bust it out of the wall. But uh, you can. I can swing my sword, sword. Yes, I, I know that song. So I do know a fair bit, but I don't know, like, everything. Like, I don't know who this is. If you guys, uh, if I wind up not knowing who someone is, or if I wind up skipping by someone that you knew, then feel free to leave it as a comment in the comment section. Just don't say, how could you not know who that is, or something like that. But uh, anyways, flying around here, flying around. I saw Jordan said over here, I see the 3D glasses, and I think Kurt J. Mac, even though I know this isn't Kurt J. Mac. But uh, inside of this head, we have, we have a lonely little... Little, uh, yeah, we have a lonely little, uh, leaf. Jordan, what is inside of your head? Let's see here. I hear Jerry in there. Yep, Jerry. It's Jerry, along with all the record discs and a music player. So, yeah, <laughs> pretty appropriate, I would say. I know I'm somewhere on this map, too, so I'm going to have to uh, keep flying around here, see what I can find. Oh, God. It looks like this statue is just like, he, he's just like sucking the thumb. He's just sucking Jordan's thumb here, it looks like. I wonder if there's anything that's out of this head. No, whoa. Oh, my God. Okay, it looks as if the statues that are on the bottom of the map here have no backing to their head, so that's kind of funny. Um, I wonder if I wonder if Seth Blink did that on accident and then thought that was amusing and just decided to keep it in. I have no idea. But uh, anyways, flying around here, I see Elmo's head over here. I don't know who this actually is, but Elmo. Oh, nothing. Oh, I was gonna say nothing that's either, but there's actually a bucket of lava in here, so it could be very useful. All right, that would kind of stink though. Setting down a bucket of lava. I mean, you could literally set the entire map on fire here. Looks like we looks like we got a couple more janksters over here too. We got Jeb right here. Jeb has got the Wither Boss inside of his head. So all you have to do, it looks like, is just take out one of the pieces of Soul Sand or something, uh, Soul Sand, and then um, put it back, and you're good. Uh, let's see. Minecraft chick has a creeper and a pig. I don't think the creeper is intended. Maybe I'm not sure. 
but pink sheep. Yeah, for the win. Okay, let's go ahead and let's keep flying around here. Uh, looks like we got uh, Evil Seth here. Let's see what's inside of Evil Seth's head. Just looks like yet another bucket of lava and plenty of diamonds. So right from the get-go, it seems like you're really going to be able to get like all the diamonds that you could want. Which is what I think is going to make this map really fun. Is uh, the fact that the materials aren't that hard to get. It's more or less just for the entertainment value of... Uh, it's more for the entertainment value of just seeing all the heads and just for the, the heck of it. Looks like inside a dinner bone's head here. I remember seeing this from Seth Bling's video. We have a little dinner bone with a carrot on a stick. And he's got blue boots and we have a bucket of lava. Alright, let's go ahead and let's fly around here and let's try and find my head here. Because I know mine is around here. I'm not sure if it's near. Uh, no, I think it's actually, yeah, it's over there. I can see it. But let's go ahead and let's check out the inside of Ethos head here. Since I do recognize Ethos head. Uh, wow. Just a bunch of TNT. <laughs> I would set this off, but I don't want to break the map quite yet because I do want to check out some more of the heads. But I will, in fact, uh, I will be doing that. I, I will be blowing up his head here pretty soon. It looks like uh, this is the soldier from Team Fortress 2. So I'm not sure exactly who this is, but ooh, okay. Well, I guess if you wanted to get uh, potatoes, there you go. That's, that's the secret way to do it. So yeah, all right, let's go ahead and let's keep flying around here. So where was mine at? Mine was over here, I believe. Uh, let's see, let's see. Again, if you guys are right... Oh, I just saw Kerche Mac. I just saw Kerche Mac. Kerche Mac, what is in your head? Is Wolfie in here? Is it? Is it Wolfie? Yep, yep, I knew it. A wolf and the old and this style bed. I knew it. And then a block of ice, apparently, because um, that's necessary. But yeah. <laughs> oh, floating block of ice. I get it. I get it, because I remember that from Farlands or Boss. Man, I've seen way too many YouTube videos. But yeah, I remember that. Floating block of ice. Okay, let's go ahead and let's continue flying around here. See, Sky does Minecraft, myself, and K-Men Films all together because we typically do videos together. Let's see what's inside, inside of Sky's head. If I had to guess, just because I know Sky, it's probably going to be full of water. And there's going to be a, uh, a squid spawner in there. Yep! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it. I'm pretty sure that's a squid spawner right there. Um, I'm not sure if you'll spawn in deep water like this or if they need to spawn on the surface or if they need to spawn with light level. But... Let's see here. Let's tear apart some of his face here. There's just a giant hole where Sky's face once was. But yeah, Squid Spawner. Um, let's see. Inside of mine, I would probably guess it has something to do with a golden apple. Let's see what's inside of my head here. <laughs> yep. Yep. Skeleton Spawner. Golden apple. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, Seth Bling. You know me all too well. All right. Let's go ahead and let's check out Cave's head here. I'm not exactly sure what would be inside of Cave's head. Probably something having to do with like living underground or something. See, we got a chest here, which has a club. Ooh, that, wow, that could be very useful for the map itself. So, Cave has one of the more useful items inside of his head. So, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Let's see, let's just continue flying around here. Let's see if I can recognize any more of these heads. Um, just, I'm looking around here, seeing if there's any that I can recognize. I recognize Exploding TNT's head. Uh, I can only imagine what's inside of his head. Uh, yep, yep, not at all surprised. So, same as Etho, he's got that thing going on. All right, let's, let's just fly around for a little bit longer here and see if I can uh, recognize any more here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm really not sure. I recognize that skin, like Dark Link. I recognize it, but I don't know who uses it. I have. Why do I have the feeling that, um, oh God, I think I recognize who those are, but just the name isn't coming to head. Uh, like Blue Sin, I think, is one of them, that one. Um, yeah, I know they have like plurals to their name, but I don't, I don't remember them otherwise. All right, let's go ahead and let's, let's delve into the, the deep depths of this area here. Let's see, Chimney Swift, what is inside of your head? Uh, the end is inside of his head, along with a piggy. So yeah, if you want to go to the end, you have to go to Chimney Swift for that one. All right, let's continue flying around here. Um, I know that Lewis is somewhere around here as well, but unfortunately I'm not finding it. Is this, um... Is this uh, generic B? I have, I think it might be. What? Yep, I knew it. Wow. Okay, B. I, I was totally right on that. So it seems like I do recognize a fair bit of these. Um, this one, True Moo, Minecraft Universe. Nothing inside of here. There's nothing in his head. His head is like elevator music. This one's Ridge Dog. Let's see what's inside of Ridge Dog's head. Nothing is inside of Ridge Dog's head. It's like elevator music. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I'm not going to go ahead and spoil any more of these. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to end off this video here. But not before taking a redstone torch to the heads that have TNT inside of them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys want to check this out for yourselves, uh, be sure to download it. The link is going to be in the description below. This one is CMB Minecraft's head. It has this little 2x2 two -two door design like that. 
So if you want to see what's inside of any of the other heads that you may have recognized, feel free to download it. Again, the link is in the description below. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's have some fun here. That creeper's gonna die. Yup. Oh my god. <laughs> Suddenly, the map is a pile of derp, and I see I see emeralds and stuff. Uh, I know that there was one more head that had TNT inside of it as well. Um, I believe it was Ethos head, which is close to the edge, I think. Um, I'm really glad that one is covered up the way it is. Good job. Good job, Seth Link. Um, all right, let's fly around here. Where is Ethos head? Etho, you may be getting away with this for now, but I will find you. Um, I would imagine Lewis is somewhere around here. Oh, Kirshar. Wow. I keep saying I want to end it off here, but nope. Okay, Kirshar. Um, diamonds. Oh, it fires air at you. It's his old school diamond trap. I love that trap. Uh, it's not It's not monostable, though, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Okay, where is Etho's head? Etho, there you are. You're going to die. You're going to die, Etho. Okay, bam. And everything around Etho will now die. <laughs> bam. Oh, wow. Most of the explosives went out in that direction, so it didn't really do that much damage. Uh, so anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off this video here. I see Big Bop Box here. If you guys want to know what's inside of his head, feel free to download the map. The link is in the description below. So anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. My name is Avenom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.